Yo, what's up guys, welcome to another video on my channel and in this video I want to show you exactly how to get results for real estate clients. Lately we have been landing some real estate clients and because of that you are learning, you are trying new things, you are testing new ads and stuff like that. And yeah, we found a couple of winners. So in this video I will show you one exact template that we are using to get results for all real estate clients and you can use it for your clients too. So let's dive right into this video guys. Yo, before we go, wait a couple of seconds. Before we go, be sure to check the links in the description because if I mention a software or a tool, it's probably in there. And make sure to subscribe to my channel and set your post notifications on. So let's dive right into the video guys. Yo, what's up guys? So, welcome to my channel and as I said in the intro, I want to talk about how to get real estate leads using retargeting. So, this is a really important video if you are getting into real estate, you don't know how to get leads and yeah. Recently we got into real estate too and we are learning a lot, we are doing a lot of courses, we are testing a lot and yesterday we set up some new campaigns for our clients. Why is real estate the best niche to get into? So, real estate clients are used to pay for leads. So, they are always paying for leads like their salespeople are, pay are getting paid on commission stuff like that. So. Real estate clients are really used to pay money. So they are paying a lot of money, they are spending a lot of money, and because of that, they are earning a lot of money. So they are used to pay for leads and they will never like ask for a lower price, they will not negotiate with you and stuff like that. So that is really important because it will make your life much easier. So they are also really busy. So you don't have to think about getting micromanaged because of by them so they will never like ask you stupid stuff they will just contact you when it's really important they will call you ask anything at, at once and it's really important because otherwise you will lose a lot of time so they are also really busy so they won't contact you all the time maybe you are thinking like i don't know if that's good or bad thing but trust me it really sucks when your clients are continuously contacting you so it's something that you have been struggling with because some of our smaller clients are really like a pain in the ass they are always asking stupid stuff like can you do this can you do that why are you doing this why are you doing that you spent that blah 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 so it's really not important what they are saying and if a real estate client is contacting you it's really like yeah, it's really straightforward, it's just like you want this, this, this and this and that time and you just do it. So it's really, really simple. So now I will draw out strategy. You don't have to really watch my drawing skills because they are horrible, but the strategy is really important you are using. So we will draw out everything. So here is the website. So the website and this is the website of a real estate client and they are getting traffic to their website so let's say with google adwords is driving traffic to the website but of course not everyone is converting because otherwise life would be too easy so people are getting getting pushed to the landing page or to the website or whatever and they are not filling in their information so that's a really bad thing because then you lose leads. So let's say they are not filling in their information, then it's time for us to retarget them. So retarget on Facebook. So we are retargeting them on Facebook. This is our task. We are not doing the Google Ads yourself for this client, but for other real estate clients, we will do it ourselves. So this is our task. We are doing the retargeting on Facebook. And then we do something like retargeting, like, yeah, we saw that you have been visiting blah 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 and why didn't you decide or something like that just to get some interaction going so this if it goes bad but if it goes good it's just a new lead so just a lead that becomes money so it goes like this and we are doing this so we are retargeting people to also buy a home rent a home or whatever so this is like the strategy that you are using we push them at google adwords to the website then we retarget them and we retarget them to the offer on facebook and then the real estate client is calling them so we are running ads that are legion ads so people are really like giving the information they are getting called for a meeting whatever so this is like the high overview what we are doing and yeah that's how we are getting results so it's really, really simple because you just have to set up retargeting, set up Google AdWords campaigns. It's not that hard. You can just look it up on Google and on YouTube, I mean, and you will understand it. So this is our strategy. So 
people are getting pushed to the website. If they convert, it's money. And if they don't convert, we are retargeting them. We are targeting them on Facebook with lead ads. So we are retargeting them. And if they become a lead, we send the lead to the real estate clients. So our job is like really simple. Maybe you're thinking like, well, you don't have to work a lot. And indeed, when, when it comes to real estate clients, you just have to test a lot, but it's not like a lot of grunt work. So you don't have to make websites, make tons and tons of landing pages and stuff like that. Just testing new audiences, testing new ads, testing new designs, split testing a lot. And that is really important because if you don't split test, you never know what is working, what is not working. So this is a strategy that we are using. So then we have the copy. Here you can see the copy. Of course, it's in Dutch because you are living in Belgium. So we are starting with the headline. So are you seeking for a home or whatever? Then we have wait. Before you scroll, you just visit our website, but you didn't leave any information for us. So it's really important that you get attention with the copy. You have to get attention from the potential clients. So what you are doing is, are you seeking or searching a home? Wait, you visited the website, but you didn't leave your information. So this is the copy that you are using. It's really simple. You don't have to like, so it's really simple. And below that you have something like, do you want to get help, help from us? Click the link below and click on next to get us and to contact us so we can contact you again to support you with your choice. So it's really simple. Like the copy is, has to be, it doesn't have to be like really long copy. It's just really simple. It has to be clear what you are doing, who you want to help them. So wait, you visit the website, blah, blah, blah. We can help you if you blah, blah, blah. So the copy is really simple. Like. This is the exact copy that you are using. You can use it too. You just have to translate it. So then you have the display link. It's just a website. Then you have the headline. Searching a new home. We are helping you. Something like this. So then we have, so the copy is finished. And then we have the design. So as you can see, this is the design that we are using. It's a really simple design. It's just like six of the most beautiful homes of the website. So of the most beautiful home, oops, homes of the website. So we are making that. So this is like the pictures that we are using and below that you have some copy like, are you searching for a home? Let us help. So this is let us help. And we here we have the logo. So searching for a home, let us help. And it's really important, important to use the logo of the company because when it comes to real estate, they have a lot of like brand awareness and stuff like that. So a lot of people know real estate companies. So it's really important that you use a logo, especially when it's one of the bigger clients. So this is how we are doing. This is a strategy that we are using. And the targeting that we are using is we are, we have an email list from people who have been buying homes and stuff like that and we make it look like audiences. So this is the targeting that we are using. We are split testing it too. We are making new audiences and stuff like that, but making the audience something that you test a lot. So you have to split this. You have to make tons and tons of audiences to see which works best. So this is how you get real estate leads using retarding on Facebook. And I hope you learned something from it, guys. If you have a question, just ask me in the, ask me in the comments below and I will answer it. And I will see you tomorrow in another video, guys.